Hello everyone, today I'm looking at the Moa GE100 multi effect system and I'll say from the beginning, as soon as you switch this on you'll become aware that this has the probably biggest, brightest and I think just the best display of any multi effect system that I've used. So that's my call right from the outset, it's making a very good first impression. Let's see how it sounds. <laughs> modulated distortions. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm feeding back a bit, guys. I'll turn the amp down slightly. to edit as that's a very clean uninterrupted sort of distortion sound editing is very simple just turn this knob and that'll take you through each effect in the chain let's say we wanted to add a bit of delay to that and simply turn this module on by pressing this pedal right here now we have some delay that's our basic digital delay you can change through each parameter of the effect just by pressing down on the value button so that'll take us through the type of delay the level, the feedback, and the time. So all your basic controls are there. Let's change it to an analog delay. Raise the level of it a bit so we can have a good listen. Give it a bit more feedback. Feedback up on about 33. And I'll make the time about 30. So a nice true analog delay there with a good kind of decay with each signal as it comes back to us. Let's try a different kind of delay, and I'm going to raise the level as well so we can have an even better listen. This is the tape echo. And standard echo. Becoming a bit more bassy with each return. Reverse. And of course, let's change the time on that because reverse is always fun. Yeah, I like that. And digital delay, which I assume is an exact replica with each return. It is indeed. And analog, I think we already tried that one, didn't we? A dynamic delay. Slightly modulated with each return. Let's see what happens with our feedback and increase the time a little bit. As in make it faster. Well, it certainly has some interesting effects when you mess with the time. So that's fun anyway. If you want to save, it's just a double tap on the save. I think I will save that there. Well, let's move on to the next patch. one of our 
our dynamic effects driven by the expression pedal here. There you go, so the expression pedal is nice and responsive. And the same thing with the downward whammy effect. Okay, in this one I've replaced the whammy effect with a ring modulator effect. So there's a lot of fun to be had with the ring modulator. A gentle wire effect there. Well, this is an interesting step phaser sort of effect. It sounds like my little amp can't handle that all that well. This one feeds back badly because it's an extremely dirty fuzz. So when you layer your drive effects with some of the different amps in this one, it really goes quite extreme to the point of being a little hard to control sometimes. But if that's the style of music you like to play, then you're going to have a lot of fun with this one. sound a bit dull so let's just liven it up once again we just rotate the left hand knob here just to get to the equalizer and press through to cycle between your three equalization stages uh, add a little bit more trouble to that one and you can see how responsive the equalizer is that's already brightened it up quite a lot so just wind your YouTube video back by about 30 seconds and you'll see the difference there. I'll just tighten that up a little bit more. And we can further brighten that up by adding an amp simulation. character out of the sound there. And of course the amp has a gain control of its own so we can fuzz it up a bit. So you can see how responsive these effects are. And 
and many of them are just so ready to have a little bit more EQ added, a little bit of amp simulation, just to really wake them up and fit them to suit your equipment. got 80 user patches that you can save and 80 presets to try as well. You can set the function of the expression pedal simply by pressing pedal and cycling through your options. It also has a rhythm section. This is another great feature too because it actually does sound like real rhythm instead of the tinny metronome type things that you often get. To adjust rhythms just go to the RS in the effect chain which stands for rhythm section and the same thing applies just press your value button in to go through the various parameters like the volume the beats per minute and the actual style that you're choosing So you get the basic idea there. And in finishing up guys, I'm just going to emphasize how nice this display is. Let's take a closer look. Okay, there's our effects chain. You can see the lights changing at the top there. Choosing each of the steps in the effect sequence. And by cycling through them, we're raising and lowering these bars for each parameter of the effect. It really is that simple. It's very responsive and quick and so easy on the eyes. And I'll say it again, this is the best display I've seen on any machine of this kind. If you need help with your vision, or if your show is something of a nature that requires a display that's big and easy to read without being overpoweringly bright, then this really is ideal. And as we just heard, the sound quality is not bad at all. The whole thing's nice and solidly built. Has the usual sockets that we would expect at the back signal in and out with an auxiliary socket which can be handy and there's your power there of course expression pedal on the side lots of metal in the construction and overall it's nicely made nice sounding and very very well designed unit that's the MUA GE100